Uh, so we're going to jump back into Elden Ring again, and I'll be honest, I, <laughs> I don't have a lot of, I probably am not in the best of moods to be playing Elden Ring, so what we're going to do is we're going to jump in. I think that there are a number of things, including something that Avery uh, pointed out to me last week, that we need to kind of catch up on. Uh, apparently there was something I didn't do to keep the Bach tra uh, conversation going. Uh, I am almost positive there is a painting reward that I need to collect. I believe that there is uh, one or more legendaries that I haven't gotten. Uh, so I do want to make sure to clear those up if possible. And then the stuff, we can kind of do these three sections in, in any order that we want. The first section is Fia's storyline. The second is Ronnie's storyline. You do have to do these first two in order to keep uh, Ron, both of them going, but as long as you do these first two. And then the third is the... Um, Volcano Manor stuff, as well as moving into uh, Mogwin and some other things. So I think that there's a lot of this that we can kind of jump around. And that's what we're probably going to do tonight. <clears throat> so, first things first. Let's look at paintings. We need to get the reward for the champion's song painting that we got in the Shaded Castle. Um, I contacted their customer support, called every number they had listed on their site. Everyone said the same thing. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's amazing that... They don't want your money. <laughs> if they really truly wanted your money, they would find a way to to help you get in. Yeah, I can understand, Capio. I understand. All right, so we're gonna we need to get to Altus Plateau on the cliff, just slightly southeast of the Rampart side path site of Grace. Sure. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, that particular college is free. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and start up Elden Ring. Oh yeah, um, Avery. I don't. Did you have you ever taken a look at um, Against the Storm? It's a roguelike city builder. I don't know if it's something you would be interested in or not, but uh, I played some of it Saturday night, and I fully intend on playing it again this weekend. Um, I just thought I'd mention it to you. I, I really enjoyed what I played of it on Saturday. So, and I know that Goose is playing it right now. He apparently bought it after I did. Uh, oh, Capio. <laughs> you should have been here, what was it, Monday night? Yeah, I think it was Monday night. No, it was when... It was either Monday or Wednesday last week. Um, I had gotten to the Shaded Castle, which I had never been to before, and got to the, the boss of that particular area. Spent two hours on this fucking boss. Spent, spent two goddamn hours on this fucking boss. And it wasn't that the boss was hard. It, it, exactly. It was... You put this boss that was meant to have space and you put him in a room this big. <clears throat> it's like no way to avoid getting hit unless you you perfectly master the timing. Thankfully, I did end up doing that, but man, that sucked. Um, okay, so we did everything here. All right, we need to go what was that gray site? The Rampart Side Path Site of Grace. Slightly southeast. Alright, that's gotta be over here. Rampart 
side path. Uh, yes, it is very much Capra Demon all over again. 100% agree with you. Okay. Let me see if I can... F East Kamek. Okay. Oh, I haven't gotten that. Okay. I, I haven't gotten that one. Alright, so... Let's start... Yeah, so the, the particular one they're talking about is here. <clears throat> uh, that I can remove now. Um, and I'm almost positive that... No, that's over here. Where the ancient dragon pops in. And I really don't want to have to fight him any right now. I don't have to. And then they're saying southeast, so I'm guessing this is probably where the reward is. Right about there. Uh, I'm going to have to start from... Hold on a minute. How am I getting up there? I may have to start from Windmill Village, actually. Yeah, let's start from Windmill Village. <clears throat> you need to be more stubborn than that. <laughs> He's my bank account was well secured. It's the only thing that you didn't need. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's let's go to morning time. <clears throat> Sorry about that. There was something I knew was not right in the other room. <clears throat> oh, I wanted to fix it. Okay, so we've now... We, we're... Oh. Past time. Morning. I thought I'd already done that, but apparently not. Oh, I just noticed... I hear a festive melody. No, no, don't skim me. I don't normally talk to these guys. I don't know why I'm doing it now. Okay. So, I'm going to have to, I think, go around... And I need to make a right at the next fork in the road. While not getting hit. Oh shit, there's an Ur tree up there that I haven't gotten. Oh, I'm getting hit by getting thrown cannonballs. That's what that okay. Yep.
There we go. What set of ruins are these? Are they actually ruins? Or are they just... Okay. Whatever. Okay, this is... Yeah, right up there is where the dragon is. He's a pain in the ass. Uh, they pay me for my counter so I can get back to having a well, they don't pay me for Oh yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I got none of that. Alright. Okay, so I can remove this one. And they're probably... Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't know that that was there. don't want to have to deal with you right now. Okay, so I have not found what I'm looking for. Uh, okay, you're asking me something. Oh, silver pickled fowl foot. I'm stuck on a tree. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, so far, I don't know if you've talked about it already but what are your thoughts okay uh so really to be honest with you i have not been talking about it um mostly because of the lady that it's tied to um that being said i had a thought the other day There is a very good chance that she is actually not making any money off of the people who buy the game. Due to the fact that she had no say in the game, she had no input into the story, into the characters, or anything, 
there's a very, very good chance that Warner Brothers paid her a lump sum when the idea of the game came to be and said, we're going to basically license the IP from you. Hold on, Avery. Royalty, you used the word royalty. Royalty only can be assumed when she has direct say in the content that is being built on her IP. So every movie she was involved in, she's she's got credit. Every book, obviously. Um, the previous Harry Potter games, the Lego games, she had say in. She had no input in this game. Everyone has been very, very clear about that, including the developers and including Warner Brothers. So there is a chance, and no one's going to give me the answer of this even if I ask them, there is a chance that before the game was even started on, not necessarily, that's my point. Just because she owns the IP does not mean that the way that it gets used can't be negotiated. So, in this instance, there is a very good chance, because of the fact that she had no involvement, that Warner Brothers said, and this is where my, my business acumen comes into play, no, 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 no. Warner Brothers published it. Portkey Games developed it. No, they didn't. They actually... Well, okay, that I, I may not be right about that. Okay, you might be right there. I have not seen that, though, anywhere written. I have not seen that. In any case, the royalties cannot be very high um, because the cost of the game is not very high. And you've got to pay the developers. You've got to pay, you know, everybody involved first. <clears throat> um, in any case, the only thing I will tell you, Capio, is it looks beautiful. Uh, there have been a few complaints about some of the combat. Everyone has enjoyed the story. Everyone has enjoyed the characters. Um, it is doing extremely, extremely well. Uh, everyone that has reviewed it has given it high marks. Uh, it is probably the best representation of a uh, Harry Potter universe that is as far removed from her as possible. <laughs> it, it is a bit of a beast. But then again, that's the way a lot of new games are. Um, Alright, I wonder if... Southeast... If it's southeast from there... On the cliff, just slightly southeast of the Rampart Side Path of Grace, you should see the painter. All right, let's go back to that Grace then. Because, yeah, I'm way... Wow, I am way, way, way far south. Okay, so southeast. But what cliff? That's my problem right now, is there is no cliff southeast of this. Oh, unless they're talking about no, because that's north. This isn't a cliff as far as I'm concerned. No. Alright, 
Let's do this. <clears throat> um... This one is Champion Song of Okay. Okay. I may have to fight the dragon. Because apparently... Right there is where the reward is. Hmm. Yeah, but see, so Capio, my problem with that statement right there is that it wasn't made by a horrible person. It was made by a bunch of people who were very passionate about the world, very passionate about game development, and apparently, according to everyone, has done a phenomenal job with it. we go. I don't even, where, where'd the dragon go? He just disappear? <clears throat> He's supposed to come back if you haven't killed him. Okay, so I got the heart bow, which I actually think I already had one. Uh, Lindell Royal Capital. Fortified Manor, right next to the Fortified Manor, first floor, site of grace. I don't have this. <coughs> I can get this too. Maybe. Oh, no, I can't. Not yet, anyway. I can't get it until I move the Volcano Manor stuff forward. Okay. Yeah, I, I can't do that yet. All right, then let's take a look at the legendaries, because I'm almost positive I'm missing some legendaries. Uh, Sword-wise, I don't think that I am, or armament-wise, I don't think that I am. But I noticed in looking at the talismans and other things that I might be missing some. So, let's see. Um, yeah. So, there's this one. The Godfrey icon. I can get that one. I don't... The Dragon Crest Great Shield. Isn't that down underneath of the Beast Sanctum? Okay, I do have Lutel the Headless. I thought I had gotten that one. After defeating Radon. Okay, I know I am going nowhere near Red Main Knight Oga. Um, I got a complete Ronnie from the Rampart side path. Grace located northwest of Lindell. Head west to find the Sainted Hero's Grave. Okay, so I can go grab this one. And the Flame of the Fell God. I think we can get this one, too, if I don't already have it. 
I might be able to get Grail's Roar as well. Okay, one thing at a time. Um, I'm actually right near that. Yeah, there it is right there, as a matter of fact. Let's go check this place out. Uh, I already did. Remember really early on in the run, I was uh, stuck on the Red Wolf? I had, uh, at the beginning of, like, the next stream, I decided to go and kill him to get a few levels before going back and trying again. Oh, crap. That's right. This one, this is the one that's, uh, protected by a black knife. Black Knife Assassin. Wow! This run, Capio, is a lore, plus paintings, plus legendaries run. So it's not quite 100%, but it is pretty close. What? No, actually, I, I'm i sorry to tell you this, but I actually got this idea after watching Lobos' run. Trying to, I, I don't, I hate that I'm not able to figure out right from the very get go with him what the best point of attack is, or what the best type of attack is. Fantastic. Yeah, I just, I just don't know how to get started. I also, even out in the open like this, because of that attack that she gets from the knife, I don't even think that it's smart to start with range. I was just curious what was back here. I was wondering about that.
time. We're good. <clears throat> Played Elden Ring once. I was at my girlfriend's place. She was sick and slept all day. I had to boot it up. Got to a village occupied by like 20 guards. Died 15 times. Went up the ravine where a giant jumps on. You died there five times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, you cannot approach a FromSoft game in the same way you do other action RPGs. Um, even though this game is more approachable by a long shot over the others, you still cannot approach it with the same mindset. I have never done this grave, so I have no idea what to expect. Hey, yeah, very, very true. Expect pain and you won't be disappointed. Let's, uh, let's sit down. Um, actually, hold on a minute. Let me, now that I think about it, let me use these runes to buy the heat box uh, conversation going. Yes, a lot of it does depend upon your class. I would also say it also depends upon your play style. Um, you know, do what's best for your play style. And then learn what the best options are, you know, weaponry and armor and all that kind of thing for your play style. Okay, so the, the samurai starts at level 10. You were probably 12 or 13. <sighs> you have returned. What is it? <clears throat> yeah, the samurai doesn't start out with... Everyone will tell you that the samurai starts out with the best weapon set. Between the, the uchi katana and the longbow. And archery-wise longbow, it is the best starting bow. Um, because of its ash of war but the uchi katana the problem with it is is you have to depend on the the bleed procs okay so oh she's selling briar's armor well that's something i want for later too um i don't uh avery i don't need to get every piece right now i can just go ahead and get one piece and that'll be enough I mean, I'm going to want to end up buying all of this anyway, but because I want to do a cosplay of Radon, I also want to do a cosplay of the Briar Knight, too. What's this one? Oh, that's Radon's Greaves. Alright, well, let me go ahead and buy all of Radon, then, except for Radon's Helm. Now go for yeah, 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 yeah. All right. <clears throat> oh, I just went to the wrong side of grace. Um, what if we go fifth and let someone else go fourth? 
Uh, the boss was called Beastman of Furumazula. Yeah, there's a lot of Beastman. There, so that is a duplicate boss. That boss, uh... God, he's in... He's in one of the tunnels. In Limgrave. Then there's another one... There's another area where he's a... A, a part of a duo boss. Um, he's, he's in multiple things. That was probably the tunnel. That was probably the tunnel in Weeping Peninsula. Down at the bottom of the river. Or are we talking about um, Coastal Cave? No, not Coastal Cave. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop because I'm, I'm not anywhere near where I should be anyway. <clears throat> Okay. Bok the sea ready to me. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm Master, sorry. My apologies. Your wardrobe includes the garb of the old demigods, and I'm afraid I can't make adjustments to them. <laughs> my mum told me once that a royal seamstress would do them up in a jiffy. Just wait, master. Before long, I'll be that good, too. No, it's not that he's a not-so-hard boss. It's just that he's one of the ones that From Software decided to duplicate. And I think they did it intentionally because, for some people, because he jumps around a lot, because he's pretty quick, and because he has one specific move, um, the overhead slam, that can do a tremendous amount of damage in one hit. So, no, not at all. Yes, I agree. I completely agree with Avery on that. Is that a gift for <clears throat> my undeserving self? Thank you kindly. But what on earth could it... Oh, what amazing. I've never seen a golden needle. Not in all my life. With a spectacular royal crest to boot, are you certain that this is for me? <clears throat> oh, I can hardly believe it. Have faith in me, Master. I'll polish my craft enough that I deserve this golden gift. I'll be the golden seamster, Bok. Now I'll be able to sew anything, even the threads of the demigods. <sighs> Oh boy, we got a whole bunch. Okay. Um. Okay. Do I have the? Going so soon. Did I? Please do be yeah, safe yeah, yeah, on yeah, your yeah. journeys. Yeah, yeah. I need to have. Do I still have it? No. I need to reequip the the paint. Oop, oop. The the paint mask. That one. All right, let's, let's go back to here for a second so that I I want to make sure that I get all of the Okay, and when he asks for a larval tear, use the prattling pay. Okay, that's what I'm waiting for. That's what I'm waiting for. <clears throat> Roveside Cave. I'll try to play through on my preferred controller, which is mouse and keyboard. I can't seem to... Uh, dude, I wouldn't. Um, I, I can swap back and forth between keyboard and mouse, no matter what. The problem that you're going to run into... Because um, I actually tried playing keyboard and mouse one time with Elden Ring. The problem that you're going to run into is that there are more 
there are more things that have to be done with like two buttons on a controller that you're going to have a hard time mapping with keyboard and mouse to where you're going to potentially be in a situation where to do something quickly you might have to reach farther across the keyboard than I would if I was playing with a controller. So I'm just I, I'm not telling you not to. I'm just giving you the warning. Okay. Bok the seamster, at your service, master. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. Okay, let's see. Master. Have you ever wished you might be born again? Well, they say that Renala of Rhea Lucaria has the power to help people be reborn. Oh, me? Reborn? Oh, look at me. When you're this ugly, well, being reborn, it would hardly make a difference, I'm afraid. All right, so that's going to be a bigger problem for you then because aiming only comes into play in this game if you're shooting a bow because there are too many enemies that jump around and will jump behind you that if you are not locked on before you even have the ability to switch your mouse you're dead so I'm telling you right now, lock on is going to be your best bet for, I'd say, half of the enemies that you fight. Half of the enemies are very slow, and you'll have no problem. The other half bounce around, like that guy I just fought, the Black Knife Assassin. He was jumping around way faster than you're going to be able to control with a mouse. Um, Master, may I ask you something? Would you mind if I she. called you Lord? I heard that you and the other Tarnished seek the throne of the Elden Lord. Well, I know that you will be the one. And you'd make just the manner of kind-hearted Lord that I'd wish for. So please, if you would, allow me to call you Lord. Sure. You don't say... Thank you. Thank you. My lord. My lord. My lord. Please become Elden Lord. And please let I, Bok the Seamster, remain at your side. Alright. Do you think that Mum would be pleased if she knew that I'm as good as any royal seamster knew? Oh, it's still not enough. I need to learn how to sew from scratch like her. Alright, before I click on give a larval tear. Going already, my lord. Uh, please. I want to see if it's. I have to do it now or after. You're beautiful. Bok the seams. Okay, it's after. Your That's service, what I thought. Yes, my lord. Ready to make adjustments. Where did to your you comments? learn that, Avery? Oh, never mind. Nope. I think we might be okay. Did I just hear my mum speaking? Roger? Thank you very much. Mum was always the only one who said I was beautiful. And now, my dear lord, let me hear her voice. Oh, please. If I may dream just once. Do you feel the same way my mum did, my lord? Do you think I'm beautiful? despite these looks. <laughs> oh, my lord. My dear lord. I, Bok the Seamster, am forever in your service. May the throne of Elden Lord be yours. Okay. okay. Already, my lord. <clears throat> now we can go back. All right, so we finally cleared box storyline, at least up to that point. All right, now then, 
I'm going to make a couple of quick changes here. First of all, I'm going to remove Radagon's Sore Seal and put in Merica's Scar Seal. Got to remove that. And let's go with let's go with uh, some magic. Whenever anyone called me maidenless, just looked at my girlfriend laying next to me, thinking that she doesn't exist. <clears throat> Shadow bathes in light and knows weakness. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh. This is what you were talking about a little while ago. Okay. Crimson Seed Talisman. That's not what I'm here for, but okay. Uh, Crimson Seed Talisman. Boost HP restoration from Clask Flask of Crimson Tears. Okay. Alrighty. Well, let's slow down. In case one of those stupid little bastards drops from the ceiling. I don't like the looks of that. Really don't like the looks of that. Oh, it's them. Never mind. <clears throat> I was excited to see that I can play Potion Craft on her Xbox, only to realize that it's unplayable because the smallest stick movement always made me overshoot potions. I've actually never played that. I don't think I even own that game. I have... I have a potion game of some kind, but I don't remember what it was. Oh, shit. them so much. Yeah, I don't remember which game it was. I'll have to, if at some point I'll make a switch over to Steam because I can just do a quick search. Well, and that's exactly why I didn't sit at the Sight of Grace. I will, though, sit at the Sight of Grace if there's no... Uh-huh. That's what I thought. <clears throat> you 
Here's the thing, though. I ain't dropping down. Or is this the only way to get there? Hold on a minute. You know what? No, let's just go sit at the site of grace, and we'll come back. Because I'm not going to go underneath next time. Unless this will put me down there. No, it's not going to be. There's not going to be one there. It is. It's going to put me right there. Okay, yeah, let me just go sit at the site of grace. Um, Potioncraft has a beige background with Potionomics, while Potionomics is a very vibrant game. Alright, give me one second, and I'll pull it up. Uh, okay, so the game that I have doesn't even have Potion in the word, in the, in the title. Um, it's going to be under simulation, I'm pretty sure. No, it's definitely neither one. The game that I'm referring to is you take ownership or you're running a potion, sh potion shop. Got great reviews. Alright, it must be under strategy then. No, unfortunately I don't. Okay, let's do this. Alright, there's Potion Craft, there's Potionomics. Let's see what other... Oh, that didn't help. Yeah, Potion Craft, I didn't like the the aesthetic of it. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. <clears throat> Alright, let me do this. Um, potion Shop Simulator. There's Potion Craft. Potion Games. Why can I not find this game? wasn't Witchwood, but I do own Witchwood. Yeah, I, I can't find it. <clears throat> yeah, I can't find it right now. Alright. Let's keep going. Alright, where did that one drop from? Uh, 
Oh, I'll bet you that overhang was around the corner. Because I was able to see him from that side. Okay, I don't think I want to step into that circle. Okay, there's the one that was hanging. What? Okay, what? Oh, I think I get it. Yeah, okay. It took me way too long to figure it out, but I, I finally got it. Ugh. Well, that's very annoying. Have you heard what happened to The Witcher 3 next gen? Um, no, I haven't heard a word. I mean, you told me what happened to you. that had their mod included in the game sneaked in a mod called Visible Woman. <clears throat> yeah, okay, I did hear about that. Come on. Oh, uh, you're... Come on, where's your leash? Ah, uh, you bastard. Okay. Yeah, I think I did hear about that. I don't remember where I hurt. I, I maybe somebody mentioned it on a on a site. I don't remember now. Probably don't need that, but that's all right, whatever.
in my head cannon. Geralt swore a chastity vow and refused to do it. <laughs> Okay, I've obviously missed something because there's a passage up there. Those weren't the ashes I was here to get, were they? thing is, is where would the illusory wall be? Oh, I guess it's back here. No? Oh, well, yeah. I guess I could have. I didn't even think about it. The, the, the number of dark places just are so few, I d it didn't even cross my mind. Alright, well, where... Um... Well, hold on a minute. What is the name of the ashes that I'm trying to get here? It's the Ancient Dragon Knight Kristoff. Okay, yeah, so I definitely haven't gotten them. Uh, Avery, can you tell me what I missed? Please? And where it is? So I'm not rolling up against walls all night long. I'm not paying. Oh. Actually. No. Never mind. Yeah, but this is a dead end. Never mind. Never mind, we're good. I was wondering if that was going to be required. I was really hoping that it wouldn't, but it did. You bought it. Oh, I rem okay. I think I remember Gino complaining about this a lot. Alright. 
Come on, guys. Alright, I guess we'll focus on this one first. And fucking fantastic. Oh shit, there's another stone sword key. I don't know that I have another one. Alright, you know what? How do you keep running out of them? Aren't you buying them at every merchant you pass? What do you mean? Uh... Okay, I don't know where this is. Oh, 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 you mean the stone sword keys. No, I'm not. I have not bought... Any. I mean, is there a reason that I need to... Uh, hold on a minute. There's something in there. Oh, two more of them. I mean, is there a good reason for me to go in there? I'm not sure I have... Let me see if I have any. No. No. No, I still have two. Okay. I'll make sure to buy them after then. The Dragon Crest Shield Talisman plus one. What is it that that does again? Greatly boost physical damage negation. Is this the plus one version of the one that's down underneath of the B Sanctum? In Kalid? Alright, where am I now? Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. We're just back here. Okay. Okay, so that's the first set. Alright, so we run through there. Run through there. Grab that. All right, the next one is up. The next spot is up there. I mean, where? I mean, how the hell do I get up there?
There's great shield ones. Gotcha. Oh, shit. Oh, there's the door. Okay. Hold on. How is the door there? I mean, I know there's a stake of America, but... Ugh. Alright, did I... I miss something that'll get me up there? Yes, it most certainly does. Because I am. Hmm. how actually you know what let me let me go ahead and open this uh oh most streamers I watch are older than me but most I mean all of them yeah Okay, what's gonna happen when I when I drop down? <sighs> Boy, I played that right. Okay, yeah, we're definitely up over. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, don't tell me I have to get him into the light. Oh, you've got to be freaking kidding me. Do I have to get him all the way down there? Okay. Except for that, this is what Gino was always complaining about, that he, he would get stuck like this. Ahem. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> okay. That is an awful lot of work. Just to get a boss door open. And I'm assuming I still have a boss fight yet. got killed there. Yep, still got a boss fight. Ah. Uh, Lisa the Stake America is right there near So I'm going to go into a boss fight with only two heals. That's freaking fantastic. wasn't that hard at all. That was not that hard at all. At least not if you're a ranged character, I'll put it that way. <clears throat> cool. Very cool. Alright, so I can mark that off the list. So that was the Ancient Dragon Knight Kristoff. Let me see. Do I already have Flame of the Fell God? Doesn't look like it. No, I have not. No, I have not. <clears throat> Alright, let's see where that one is. Start at the Urania Lake Shore Grace, just northwest of the lake facing Cliffs Grace. After passing Stormvale Castle, go northwest from the Grace and go west until you can find a... Oh, this is the one... Yeah, the Ever... The Malefactor Evergale. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, I know exactly where that one is. <laughs> well, she's smart about how she's playing it. I'll give her that. Um, all right, the Ever Jail is there. No, that's not the right one. It's this one. I think. Hold on a minute. No, 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 no. No, it's right here. It's right here. Here it is. Uh, I don't remember what the how get up there. Oh, I can start from here, and there's a yeah, 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 yeah. There's a, a wind flume that'll wind pillar that'll take me up. Yeah, I, I'm not going to. Uh, you know, depress you or anything by giving you any numbers, but let's just say uh, it has been a very long time. All right, let's level up. All right, so there's 48 for Intel. I need four more levels then to get to 52, at which point then I'll be able to use Lusats, even if it means... Taking a hit in FP consumption. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, I also wanted to pass some time. And I don't like doing anything at night. <clears throat> I can definitely squeeze in more for some horror movies or some other nerdy stuff I always wanted to show her. Alright. Let's go find... The wind flume. There it is. And there's the ever jail. I don't remember this guy being a big pain. And that would most certainly be the case. <laughs> of course, he's... I'm way over-leveled. <laughs> I'm way over-leveled. <laughs> Um, oh god, I just realized something. Full Lord of the Rings and Hobbit series means 18 hours, which means 9 hours of watching Twilight or Fifty Shades of Grey. See, you're looking at it the wrong way. And here's why I say that. Again, not going to give you shit for talking about this in front of people who are single and, and don't want to be. Here's how you should look at it, though. If it is, in fact, the Fifty Shades of Grey you can look at it as an opportunity for both you and her to get turned on prior to those movies ending. Therefore, it can lead to many things after the movie. You can't say the same thing about Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. Don't know too many people who get turned on by those movies. Um... Okay, so we did that. <laughs> okay. Where is Grail's Roar? Oh, we got a trade in Dragon Hearts. Okay. I think I have access to that. Yeah, I do. Here we go. Why isn't it here? Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that. I thought that they were I thought they were available at every Dragon Communion Church. Isn't there something back here? No, I guess not. Yeah, I, I could have sworn they were at avail at uh, that they were all available at every church. Obviously, that's not the case. Okay, so I actually have not been to that church yet. I guess the best way is to go... Yeah, I guess we'll start from here. Oh, and while we're at it, 
seeing as you called it out to me earlier. Try it again. Uh, let's buy that from you. And we'll buy the crack pot also. Be well. Also considering what you just said, I'm demisexual, so I won't even be turned on by those movies. Okay, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I don't know what that means. I don't think I've seen that particular term before. Ancient Dragon Apostles Cookbook. It means you have to have a close relationship with someone before you're attracted. Oh, so you don't get attracted to non humans, then, I guess. is You, know, you could even make it as generic as that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. I just got something. Uh, Grail's Roar. Okay, there's that. And then Elden Stars, I know. Uh, oh, hold on a minute. Elden Stars. Oh, the Gargoyle Boss Room. Okay, the Ant Queen nest. Yeah, I haven't gotten down there yet. Alright, was there anything else that's available to me now? Oh yeah, that we were talking about this earlier. The Godfrey Icon is in the Golden Lineage Ever Jail. Alright, so we can do that too. <laughs> Best in contention is running away from danger screaming. Rot Breath is the best incantation of the game. I've heard many people make that statement. As I have never done an incantation run, it's on my list, uh, I really can't say, you know, definitively that I will agree, but I've, I've heard that from a lot of people. Okay. East. So here, I'm guessing... And it has low faith requirements, okay. Um, so, Capio, your best options are this game. And this game. Uh, the only reason I didn't add Dark Souls 2 was because of... It's so hard to build a sorcerer. You're you're gonna be you're gonna really really struggle through the first quite a bit of the game because until you get to No Man's Wharf and can get access to your teacher, which you've got to go through three bosses to get there. <clears throat> well, you don't have to, I suppose. I guess you could just go kill uh, the Dragon Soldier. Um, the old dragon soldier, and then go on through. Yeah, and, and that's a super easy boss, as you and I both know, but... I mean, and you also have to have, what is it, minimum 10 intelligence? In order for him to follow you back to Majula? That's true. If you start with that class, that's true. All right. 
Nope, can't make that jump. Oh yeah, there's your boss. There's your boss, Capio. The Beast Man of Rumazula. Alright, where the hell is the drop? How the hell do you get down there? Actually, there's two right there, as a matter of fact. There's no wind tunnel to drop down into. Well, Sage sucks. Sage very much sucks. Got to be a better way. Oh, okay, here we go. I get it. I think. Here we go. Alright, I have no idea what this boss is. Or who. Oh, what's... Is there a tunnel? There's a tunnel. Which I didn't know about. Okay, I could have gotten here a whole lot faster. <sighs> um, I'll use NPC Summon Spirits and so on and rest for it. I couldn't, could have beaten it if I didn't try to claim the 1200 souls every time. <clears throat> Uh, the, the, there's two big problems with Sage. One is how he was designed. Um, the whole uh, disappearing thing, uh, coming back with clones, knowing which clone you, you're not, you know, which one is actually the real one, all that kind of stuff. He doesn't have a lot of hit points. He's not, you know, he's not a very beefy boss. Um, but then you combine that with the run-up to him which can also be annoying if you're not careful. It's just, it, in my opinion, it's a crappy boss. And I think everyone who is a Dark Souls 3 fan would agree with that. I'm not even a Dark Souls 3 fan. I hate Dark Souls 3. Hate it with a passion. Okay. I have no idea who this boss is. Oh, is this the black... No, it's not. Oh, God.
Yeah. Every time. I guess I should have known considering what the name of the thing is. Oh. That I'm getting here. That that's who I was going to be fighting, but. What was that? <clears throat> uh, what's the hardest from software game? I think everyone pretty well agrees that Sekiro is. Sekiro followed very closely by uh, Bloodborne. Because Sekiro, it's impossible to get over-leveled. Bloodborne, it's damn near impossible to get over-leveled. Um, and because of those two things, if you, if you aren't familiar with the boss's timings... Um, and you haven't played them hundreds of hours, then they're both going to, to wallop you. Yes. Yep. I agree. Yep. Uh, okay, so we got that. I wonder what that does. I have no idea what that does. Uh, where, where, where? There it is. Enhances charged spells and skills. Okay. The only game I did show the first boss, excluding the boss that's programmed to kill you. You can actually beat the first boss, yeah. Um, it's a requirement, no hit runs. Uh, no, you don't. Well, I guess it depends on your definition of the term lose. Um, I guess there's nothing else left. I guess we've got to go back to the actual lore run list. All right, so with that being the case, then we need to go talk to Ronnie. And give her the... Something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you still lose your arm. You still absolutely lose your arm. Yeah, Avery, speaking of demon souls, I don't think I ever told you this. I actually refuse to go back and play it. All because of one thing. And it's the only game that has it. Which is that um, reduction in HP, the half reduction in HP when you die. I, I, I played it on the PS5. I beat the first boss. And 
made it to the second boss, but the run-up to the second boss is absolutely ridiculous, assuming you follow standard uh, walkthrough, which is uh, the knight being the second boss. <clears throat> And I was like, I'm not going. I'm not doing that run up again. So I decided to go, and um, there was a specific weapon or something or other that I wanted to get. So I decided to try and go get that, being way under leveled for it, but still f figuring I could do it. And I did. I made it all the way there. Died before I could pick it up. And again, that run up was ridiculous. I was, and, and again, kept losing half my health. Max, you know, max health being halved. I was just, I was just, I was over it. I was over it. So I, I've sold it. I sold it. Is Demon Souls the game that makes you lose abilities the further you go? Not that I'm aware of. The only thing that I know of with Demon Souls is what I was just describing, which is it will actually. Re um, reduce your maximum health by half when you die. Not all the time, but most times. Ah, it was thee, not blithe it seemeth. Even in my slumber I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Ah, but before I leave, I must entrust thee with this. Take it. Okay. My discarded flesh lieth beyond the seal unlocked by it, upon which is carved the curse mark of thy desire. I can fathom what thy purpose might be. Neither of us is welcomed by the brighter path. I see. You may leave now. It was but brief. But thou gavest me fine service. What's up, Sophia? Thank you very much for the follow. What is it? Thy purpose in approaching me was to obtain the curse mark, was it not? You may leave now. I too am to depart on a journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. What is it? Okay. Thy purpose you are may done. leave now. I too. Alright, good. Okay, so. Uh, we can go back to the main list. And we've given the Finger Slayer Blade to, to Ronnie. Now we need to go use the inverted statue. <clears throat> and... I did not get that Sight of Grace yet, so we'll start from the Artist Shack. Uh, I don't mind the run-up to getting the Curse Mark, but I hate the fact that they put freaking Godskin Noble in front of it. It's alright. I also learned that you can just jump over top of him and, and not even worry about it. Uh, hold on a minute. Which way am I going? What's the best way to get there? I think it's this way. Oh, yeah, let me go. I should have gone and grabbed this earlier in the run. I don't know why I didn't. Because this grace point is the quickest one to get to the Ansel River well. Never mind, you were thinking about a thread where someone thought about that exact idea, but there's no game that makes you. God, I hope not. That, that would be absolutely painful. To lose abilities or skills or to have, you know, different things get reduced throughout gameplay. By the way, I was lurking around. Maybe I can help you out with your Twitch. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't need any help, thank you. I actually have no uh, need for 
graphics work at the moment. But thank you for the offer. Alright, so we gotta use the stupid thing and hold on a minute. Do I Do I need to clear first? Or invert now and just clear let's just yeah, okay. I can't remember. It has been a while since I've done this. I should be over-leveled, though, for all of the enemies that are inside, so I shouldn't have any problem clearing it. And there's a lot of... If I remember correctly, there's a lot of smithing stones to collect along the way. Okay, so we are now flipped upside down. Only the... Nope. Okay. This was one of the coolest things that I thought that they did in this game. Just, just this flipping of a, of a tower and the way that they made it feel real. shooting from, but obviously he's not hitting me, so. Uh, there's nothing that side that I can get from once I'm down there. Oh, shit! Jeez, I still need to plan my week's worth of food. It's 2 a.m. already. Hey, dude, I'm not keeping you here. I appreciate you being here, but I don't want you losing your food on my, or not having food on my account. thought that might happen. <clears throat> Actually, I think... remember what this is, but I seem to remember it being kind of sort of important. Mask of Confidence. 
Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, hold on a minute. 1.7. Alright, so it's not as heavy as the other items are. Alright, does it have anything special? Mask with the mouth sewn shut with gold thread increases arcane. Gotcha. Okay. So it doesn't really help me all that much. It gives me, what, a couple of points of poise and also increases damage negation a little bit. Yeah, might as well. Make that switch. I'm good with that. Really? There we go. <sighs> I wish there was a good meal planning app that doesn't require you to pay half your salary monthly fees. <laughs> yeah, I understand what you're saying. Was there anything down? Oh. I'm just really trying to take it easy so I don't accidentally fall. Since when is that a fucking thing? Well, at least I won't have to worry about dipshit again. God damn it. Life would be better if you could live off one dish without getting sick of it after four days. I don't know. Better is the right thing to say. Right thing to say, but... It would definitely be easier. I will 1000% agree with you there. Okay, are all of the magic soldiers gone now? Oh, I didn't... Oh, okay, I was getting ready to say...
I'm getting a whole bunch of Simer Smithing Stones. Okay. Let's refill. Less time spent in the kitchen, less time playing, less time grocery shopping, all that. As I said, it, it would certainly be easier. I'm just not sure that better would is the word that I would use. Is not getting sick of something and enjoying it every time are two different things. Uh, okay, is that it? I think that's it. Now I just gotta try and remember where to fall off. Yeah, it's there. There we go. Okay. And before we drop down... Oh, shit. Wasn't there... something in there? Maybe? Or am I remembering wrong? Yeah, I don't remember. Okay. Oh god, I really didn't need that. And I really didn't need that. Zodo is even all that complicated. <clears throat> Man, I can't eat risotto. It was here that there was something else in one of these alcoves. I thought. Unless I'm just completely mistaken. Oh well, it doesn't take that long to do a 360. For example, I've asked for a stressful day. You want to enjoy a hearty stew like goulash. Now that I can go for. Uh, just without the pasta. So you go to your kitchen, prep the greens, and stand there for two hours and stir it to constantly just eat it for a few minutes. It's very true. That's what I do with a lot of... I mean, almost everything that I make nowadays is that way. I've made my mom's spaghetti sauce twice in the last month or so. And I make a lot of soups and stews and chilies and you know all that kind of stuff but you're right it's it that's the way that it is all right i may have to spend a couple of runes but i should be able to level up here <laughs> actually I, I finally have found some robin ramen that's good for diabetics um 
and the the guys who made it made it specifically for those who have to worry about it. So it's all vegetable based. It's not uh, it doesn't have any starch in it at all. Okay. 49. Hmm. Okay. Well, we've only got 876 runes. Well, that's assuming you're I'm talking about packaged ramen. For me, it, it's it's a combination of a package of ramen, some frozen vegetables, and some sort of of uh, protein. And I usually have a few different things in the freezer that I can use for that. You know what? Let's let's give the asshole a try. Yes, well, I don't have that kind of time. I may have one day a week. And actually, it's not even a day. I may have a few hours a week where I actually have the ability to do that. really not doing a lot of damage. I'm going to try Rock Sling instead. That's interesting. Oh, is he going to be full up? If he's going to be full on health, then I'm not even going to bother. Godskin Noble Hood. Alright, so that's where that outfit comes from. Awesome. a whole bunch of things. Um, I make food and freeze. Like, I'll make up a large batch of fried rice and reheat servings of that. If I could afford it, I have to budget heavily for food, so that means having a dish many times over a week and maybe not having it again that year because I got a good deal on meat or something. Either you lose on flavor, time, money, or your mental health. <laughs> Sometimes you have to, yeah. Alright, so that new hood that I've got on actually really adds to the entire outfit. I really like that. 
So I just killed a Godskin Noble, and I only got 4,800 for it. To me, that's robbery. That's 100% robbery. He should be worth the exact same amount that he is everywhere else. Ah, okay. First mark of death and the Stargazer Heirloom. I don't remember what the Stargazer Heirloom does. Oh, that one raises intelligence. Okay, so I need to... Moment. That says my intelligence is 52. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, because of Rat, um, America's Scar Seal. Which means I should be... Alright, what does that put me to? 57. Which means that I would only be three away from being able to use... The second best. No, you know, you didn't get too emotional at all, Capio. At least I don't think so. I'm All right, you know what? Let's swap out America for Stargazer. I'm getting maximum FP raised from Cerulean. Now I can swap out the Staff of Loss or actually swap out the Meteorite Staff with Lusat. I don't want to, but I'm going to. All right, so we've done this. Yeah, because the next thing is, is they want us to do the gargoyles. And I've never fought the, gar the gargoyles. So I'm not exactly looking forward to that fight. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the round table hold then. Upgrade Lusat staff and make some adjustments. My point is it's impossible to have easy, cheap, quick, and healthy food all at the same time. I agree. Definitely agree. Oh, uh Greetings. Are you here for spirit? Yeah, okay. I don't have a uh, Ghost Glove Wart 6. I couldn't remember if I had gotten one or not. I could get Jellyfish up to 5, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Um. Well, I took you for dead, no matter. It's lay out your arms then. Uh, strength. Where are you? Oh, I didn't realize you were under... Okay, yeah, you're ranged. Oh, I don't have the somber... I don't have a somber one. Okay, I need to go to EG. 
I didn't realize. have been possible with as Lady Rani's war counselor and you and only you were Lady Rani's true champion uh oh I might have done this uh oh okay but lose that one two three four Five, six, and I guess I don't have any sevens. Sevens are a pain in the ass. Okay. So let's see what happens then if we move, if we swap this out. <clears throat> Equipment load actually goes down. <laughs> um, sorcery scaling to 240. What is it right now? 228. Okay, so this then we'll put there, and this we'll put there. That way I'm still getting the improvements for the Night Comet. But we're getting the scaling for Lusat. I just really don't like the fact that I've got to spend more FP every time I cast a spell. I'm going to have to change my flasks around. So that I have more cerulean flasks. Okay. We're up to the five golden seeds. Apparently I don't, I don't have enough. three. Okay. All right. So next is we need to go to down below and talk to D's brother. Of course, I got to remember where that is. Okay, let's let's do this the easier way. Mimic tier, ancestral woods. It's this one. Yeah, it's the aqueduct facing cliffs. I couldn't remember. Okay, I am not looking forward to this. I am not looking forward to this at all. Alright. So, Crucible Knight's already gone. So I don't have to worry about him. I should be able to run directly to D's brother.
because he's now gone too. And D's brother. All right, where was D's brother? Now, I'm more of a chicken stir fry guy, but you know, everybody has their thing. He's down this way. Yep, there he is. And over the twin to armor set, yes. The reason I say chicken over beef, but beef with vegetables and a bit of soy sauce goes extremely well together, I don't disagree with you at all. Especially with uh, more of your peppers and your onions, rather than some of the more, like, Chinese style of vegetables. Um, if you're going more Latin versus Chinese or uh, uh, Asian, <clears throat> um, my problem with the beef is the wrong type of beef cooked the wrong temperature or the wrong time can completely destroy it. Whereas with chicken, that's hard to do. Oh, yeah, see, I'm, I'm a little bit too old for all that. <laughs> I'm a little bit too old for all that. For me, it's all about oil. Uh, okay, so um, you're not saying anything. <sighs> uh, Avery, are you still there? Who is this? Is that D? Yeah, that's true. That is very, very true. I'm actually thinking I may summon D for this. I don't know that he's going to help me at all, but... Okay, um, I don't know what, alright, I'm gonna summon D, the lore run doesn't tell me to do so, but I'm gonna do it, hopefully giving me a better chance of Anybody know if he can still, if these guys can still be cheesed?
All right, so he helps keep them distracted. So that is good. But I think it also makes them stronger. Um Let me try and do this with Moon Veil. see what happens. Oh god, yes. Alright, Moonvale's the right the right thing. Alright, let me go in then. I'll summon D again. And I'll go in with Moonvale. Moonvale is definitely better. <clears throat> I'm not completely sure th that I know why. Actually, do I have... No, I don't. I use, usually use beef shoulder when making anything with beef. It's quite tough, which makes it not so great for a stir-fry, but when handled properly, enters the tenderloin. Okay. Oh. Let's go there. Alright. I've, I've never fought these guys, so I barely know their movesets. The only way I even know them at all is from what I've watched on TV or on Twitch. I obviously didn't know that timing. Gargoyle's Great Sword, Gargoyle's Twin Blade. Thank you very much, D. Appreciate it. All right, I have a long day coming. I need rest. Good night, Avery. Uh, good night, Papio. Is always great to see you. Glad you could stop by. And good luck with all of the stuff that we talked about earlier. I certainly wish you very well. Okay, so we now need Let's sit down so we can clear out everything Amazing to me how much damage I was doing 
with the Moon Veil, Ash of War versus any of the spells. Now, I did not try Rock Sling, and I wished I had, because I'm guessing they're probably fairly magic resistant, being gargoyles. The problem that I have with Rock Sling is how long it takes to cast the damn thing. <sighs> okay. Uh, Alright, let's swap back out. And, I mean, we're talking three times the amount. I was only doing about 450 points of damage per Night Comet. Maybe close to 500 with um, the, the Star Ruins. But was doing 1150 with Moonvale's Ash of War. And Moonvale right now is only plus six. No, it's plus seven. It's plus seven. Okay, so this is my first time here, so this is going to be fun. I'm still too short of... What have I got inventory-wise for runes? I have enough. Alright, they want me to talk to somebody. Uh... Well, that's a fucking Erd Tree avatar. I, I, yeah, I, I don't know this place at all. I know nothing about this place. I don't know where Fia's champions are. They want me to talk to... S What's the, the lore list say? Alright, so we've done that. Talk to the palm reader nearby. 
And then I need to find the Across the Roots Grace so that I can kill Fia's champions and talk to Fia. Which gives me Fia's ending, if I remember correctly. Alright, let's deal with this Erdtree Avatar first. There's the Erdtree Avatar. Staff of the Avatar. Oh, wow. I didn't even know that was a valid weapon in this game. Cool. Okay, so there's... I'm going to end up doing a lot of exploration now because I have never been in here. Oh shit, what the hell are you? Queen, maybe? Okay. Well, a I have no idea where I'm going. There's something up there. Oh my god, look at all the freaking bees. Or ants, or whatever they are. Alright. I don't want to lose these runes here, so let me go back. Sit at the Sight of Grace, level up, and then we'll try to get to the place that we need to get to. Um, oh, I'm going to need to spend some runes. I 
that should do it. Alright. Really? That wasn't even two-handed. I thought there was something... Hold on a minute. I thought there was a legendary that was only available in here. Um... Yeah, Elden Stars. When crossing the root bridge by the giant ants, take a route going to the right to enter a cave filled with ant queens. Past the ant queens is the incantation. Okay, so if I want Elden Stars, I need to complete this. Oh boy.
that's another reason for doing this. I remember the, the Newman's... I don't remember how many runes they give you, but... probably have to drop down then. Damn it. I, I wasn't even paying attention to my health bar. Wasn't even paying attention. I'm actually going to swap out of Lusat for a minute. Because it's it's killing me the amount of FP that I'm losing. good thing is, is they stagger. They stagger very easily. That's better. Yeah. So what I'm going to try and do is clear this place out. I think I'm still... I don't know. And then warp back.
damn it. Number six. Oh, man, where am I? <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I might actually be able to get a whole nother level. Just from this area. Actually, I might be able to get two or three. the incantation. Nice. Okay. So I now have all of the legendary incantations. That is phenomenal. Now I just gotta figure out where the hell it is that I'm going. Please tell me he's the only one there. Yep. Okay. Alright, I need to get to a, a grace. something over there, but I'm not going to risk trying to get it. Any chance? Nope. I was afraid of that. Oh! Oh boy, I almost fell into my death. Oh, I really wish I knew where the Sight of Grace was, because I'm pretty sure it's after them. Oh, 
hold on a minute. Uh, uh. Boy, that just tempted me. So you're tempted by stuff laying along the ground down there. And then you're tempted to go through this, what you think is a hidden area. One, two, three, four, five. Ugh. minute I, I kill him, everyone else is gonna... Alright, I'm gonna have to do it. Alright, we got the sight of Grace. Okay. They want me to talk to the finger reader. Oh, Lord Godwin. Such cruelty. Such humiliation. Oh, my poor sweet Lordling should have died a true death. As the first of the demigods to die. As a martyr to destined death. But why must it yet bring such disgrace? A scion of the Golden Bow, sentenced to live in death. How could such a thing come to be? <laughs> okay. Interesting. All right, so back to this. We've done that. Now we need to kill Fia's champions. Passed across the roots, Grace. All right. Before we do anything, then, hold on a minute. There's a. Where's my Grace? My Grace is right here. Is this the Grace point? No. All right. So that's not the right Grace point. I boy, shit. God only knows where that grace point is. All right, well, before I do anything... Let's use one of these. Is that enough? I don't think that's enough. Nope. All right, then, if they're 12-5... Let's do th three. Yeah, that's definitely not enough. I don't think that's enough for two levels, but let's find out for sure. Another four. <clears throat> That's two. Both of these. 
Nope, that's not enough. Shit. Here we go. This will do it. Yep, that'll do it. Alright, so that's 52. What are then my st what is my stat? Intelligence is currently listed at 57. Do I still need three more levels? Why? Oh, um actually that reminds me, I forgot to put in uh MRI spell. Yeah, ambush shard. I don't think there's anything else. I really want the the cure poison, but at the moment I don't want to worry about putting the two points into faith that I'm going to need. Or is it two or one? I don't know where I'm going. Well, that helps. Somewhat. There's another mausoleum. Is it a bell? Prince of Death Staff. I can't tell. Does it have a... It does. Okay. So, I need to get down there then. Okay, that's not going to work. I 
I need to figure out how to get down there. Never mind. Okay. Well, I had basically nothing for oh, wrong way. Runes, so I'm not gonna lose anything if I don't grab them. Okay, I see how I need to get there. Really? <clears throat> okay, so this one I want to use for Radon. There is no shit. <clears throat> that 
Somber six. Nice. All right. Let me figure out how I need to get up there. Number five. Okay, so those branches take me up there. Oh, that's right. There was a... Wow, there's a somber seven. Very nice. Yeah, there was a yeah wind flume right up there. I just need to be able to get to it. Yeah, so that's interesting. As soon as the mausoleum dropped, all of the golden guys around died. Now, I'm not necessarily surprised that they died. I was just surprised that all of them died. I thought that it would only be the ones... Oh, shit. Alright, that didn't help me then. I thought it would just be the ones, like, down on the ground. Oh, fuck. No. That didn't help me. <sighs> Don't worry, I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. Interesting. Okay. Alright, so I'm guessing then that this is the right... New map has been found, okay. Yeah, this is the Across the Roots. Okay, so let's take a look. Kill Fia's champions. Then talk to Fia. Alright, there are... Oops. Three champions. Well, three fights. I guess it's actually five champions. Um, oh, my moon veil's to plus nine. Oh, that's why. I thought my moon veil was only plus seven. Um, Let's go in with Moonvale and let's give this a try and see what happens.
Are you going to show up? Yeah, I didn't think so. Stupid speed of the freaking Uchi Katana. <clears throat> um. Alright, so Uchi Katana is the right thing for the first fight by far. But with Roger, Damn twin blades. Again, I I am misjudging the speed. I just keep misjudging the speed. Keep misjudging the speed. It's it's absolutely ridiculous. I don't know what to do with Roger. I don't know what to do with him. Because he moves around too goddamn much.
Okay, now I, I have no idea what to do. one. He did it! And I got Fee is missed. Awesome! Okay. Kill Fia's champions. Talk to Fia. Reload, then talk to Fia again. Okay? What is it you intend? To deny us and our ways, like the dogmatic brutes of the Golden Order? I see. Then you must kill me, for I am the companion of Godwin, Prince of Death. I wish to be a mother to those who live in death. So it is that any loathing any hatred that overshadows them, I must bear, as a matter of duty, with my own flesh. Okay. Reload. After we finish this, we'll probably wrap it up for the night. Actually, we will wrap it up for the night after this. Go on. Kill me. You deny us, do you not? Because we deign to live in death and wish our Lord to rise to glory. I see. For I, I wish to be a Muslim. Okay, I saw all of this. That any loathing, any hatred that overshadows them. I must bear, as a matter of duty, with my own flesh. Go on, you deny us, because we... Okay, so, something's not right. What did I not do? Reload, talk to sleeping Fia. Oh, and then I gotta kill the Lich Dragon. Oh boy. I need to sit at the site of grace real quick. Uh, <laughs> Go on. You 
deny it. Because we deign to live in. I don't understand. Hey, hold on just one second. Okay, I need to tell her that I want her to hug me. Kill you, Denia, because we de You are an odd. I am the guardian of those who live in death. They call me a foul and rotten witch. Yet you still wish to be held by me? was marked with the half-wheel wound of the centipede. Godwin's Hallowbrand has since been recovered at the Round Table Hole. But there is another Hallowbrand out there somewhere, and I must find it before the time comes we receive our Lord. When Godwin died, but another exists. Another mark in the shape of the half-wheel wound of the centipede. And I must find it. That's the Before first mark the of death. Comes, we receive our Lord. My hands will be dirtied once more by the deed. Will you still let me hold you? Even then? This is the other Hallowbrand. How did you... Oh, my utmost thanks. With this, Godwin can take his rightful place as first of the dead and claim a second, illustrious life. You are my, our, true champion. And though I can't be of any use to you, can I hold you tight? If only for a moment. Right. We already have that, but okay. I will soon lay with Godwin, and it will surely stir within me. The new life of the Golden Prince, and first dead of the demigods, as the ruin of those who live in death. Please, do one thing for me. Brandish this child, my rune, and take for yourself the throne. Stay the persecution of those who live in death by becoming our Elden Lord. I will soon let a conceit brandish okay. stay the by becoming. Make sure that we use that. Okay, now they want us to reload.
This is goodbye, but I am satisfied. I choose to lie with Godwin of my own will. Not the remains of one chosen for me. And I will bear a child who will inherit your warmth too. What? What greater blessing could there be but to be born a deathbed companion? Oh, I can think of plenty. This is goodbye, but I am okay. I choose to lie and I will bear it who will inherit what greater bl All right, so let's reload. Let me go sit here real quick. Alright, so she's sleeping now. Okay, here we go. I have no idea what this dragon is like. Okay, so uh, it's definitely the, yeah, it, it's definitely that. Let me try Rock Sling. If I need to switch to Night Comet, I will.
Okay, so Rock Sling does a whole lot more damage. At least I thought it did. seen that one. I don't understand. Uh, yeah, so Rock Sling is the is the better spell. At least damage wise. However, let me go back to Night Comet, because I'm curious. I'm curious if I can speed it up because of the the There we go. Alright. RNG. RNG. It was all about RNG. I just needed to somehow keep him from doing that uh, downward striking double swing. 
That's all I needed to do, was keep him from doing that. He was worth 90k? God damn. Well, that's two levels. That's two more levels, anyway. And actually, that'll get me... That'll get my Vigor to 25. That was kind of the next thing that I really wanted to do, is get my Vigor to 25. Um... And then we'll go back to Intelligence again. <clears throat> Alright, so level up. Okay, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna switch back to that. So. We've done that. Reload, talk to Fia, kill the Lich Dragon. Loot Fia for Mending Rune of the Death Prince, and talk to Dee's brother. Okay. Okay, so that's a new Mending Rune. I don't see Dee's brother, however. Alright, so let's sit the Grace... There he is. Death. Take a good long look. See the wrath of the Golden Order. The Order's justice writ in blood. This is what's become of your precious witch. Naught but expired meat and bone. This is a proper death, O oh Prince. Look at this rotten hole. No more children can be got from this useless flesh. Behold. Your mother is dead. <laughs> this is revenge, you witch. And you, you ghoul. This is the wrath of D. Okay, Sophia's hood and robe. Ah, hello. The rotten witch is dead. The Golden Order unsullied. Now I can look my brother Darian in the eye. Honeyed rays of gold deliver my spirit. Darian, now I have no regrets. Honeyed rays of gold. So his name was Darian. I didn't know that. Reload for Fia's stuff, okay? <clears throat> I don't know what that means, by the way. Oh, there it is. Alright, so there was supposed to be some extra dialogue if I attacked Dee's brother. But seeing as seeing how pathetic he was, I no, I, I had no interest. Inseparable sword. That's new. Um There's Gargoyle's twin blade. I am gonna I'm so the Eleanor's pole blade is going to be part of a of a run, and I very much want to do um, twin blades. I love twin blades. I just wish they were more viable. That's Fike's war spear. Where the hell is his sword? Oh, it's up here. Four night flame. There it is. Inseparable sword. Great sword. 
sword forged by compounding silver and gold, a sacred weapon to hunt those who live in death, deals holy damage. Oh. The inseparable twins found solace in the Golden Order, the only institution not to revile them as accursed beings. And it comes with the sacred blade skill, which supposedly is phenomenal. Interesting. Okay. Is there anything special said? Bronze greatsword wielded by valiant gargoyles. Just like the wielder, the missing parts have been mended with corpse wax. A patchwork of champions. Vacuum slice is the skill. Lost skill of ancient heroes. Hold the armament aloft to surround it with a shearing vacuum, then launch it forward as a blade-like projectile. Is that basically the cyclone that uh, Godric does? Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Alright, so we've we've done everything. I think. I think we've already talked to EG for his spot at his spot for dialogue. So we now need to go to Ronnie's Rise and find I I'm doing the things that are very, very quick. Go to Ronnie's Rise and find Saluva's corpse. Then go to Pitya for his corpse. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to get through the things that are fairly quick. And then we can pick up from a nice standard spot. Hold on a minute. What? Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. We gotta go up a full level, and then out. Well, I will have to say, even though tonight has probably felt like a lot slower of an evening, from a progression perspective, it's been all new stuff for me. For the most part. With the exception of... No, it's been all new stuff. Because, I mean, think about it. I, I went to a completely new... Um, hero grave. That I had never done before. Um, I cleared another painting, which I had never cleared before. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. And then, the entire Fia line, I've never cleared. I had never fought the Lich Dragon... And actually, I I have a I there's a run I want to do that is a archer build all dragons. Now, that's somewhat subjective because there are dragons in Kalid that respawn, but all dragons that don't respawn. <clears throat> um now, when I say archer build, I'm not bow only, but archer build. So think uh, Legolas from Lord of the Rings. Okay, so... What? What? <clears throat> Go to Ronnie's Rise and find Saluva's corpse. Okay, so just because I went to Ronnie's Rise doesn't necessarily mean that his corpse was going to be here. Okay. That's... Okay. His corpse could very easily be down below. I I don't care as long as he's dead. Because I, I can't stand him. He's an arrogant prick. Much like many of people, many of the people that I know. No. Okay. There he is. Nope, that's...
Okay, I don't understand. All right, you know what? Let's go back to EG just to double check and make sure that that's not a part of it. Because I sped through his dialogue earlier thinking that I didn't need to listen to it, and I'm afraid I probably did. Greetings, my fellow. My purpose is nearing its end. I've served Lady Rani for as long as I can remember. It has been a long and wondrous journey. Now Lady Rani is in your hands. I pray that you serve her well. And to the very end. Okay. Alright, let's try this again. Don't see him dead. Don't see him dead. Don't see him dead. I don't understand. Unless they're just using this as... Alright, you know what? Let, let's go back down. And let's see if he's maybe dead over there. Because maybe they were using Ronnie's Rise as a generic location. Okay, there he is. Elvis' bell bearing, Preceptor's big hat, Preceptor's long gown. Okay. But he still can be used to purchase puppets. That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Um, okay, so we've done. Alright, then we need to go to Pitya for his corpse, okay? Let's go ahead and do that then. I just gotta remember how to get there. Here. I think that's right. Yeah, it is. We're good. Go through the way gate and Renna's rise and grab the doll from the coffin nearby. Go through the way gate? There is no way gate. Unless they're talking about the other tower. Uh, 
All right. Here's the thing. <clears throat> um, first of all, I did not come here to see Roger's corpse. So let's do that. There's Roger's bell bearing and his entire outfit, including a letter. Here we go. <clears throat> I forgot to tell you, but it seems D is a younger brother. I heard he lies in a deep sleep in the aqueduct beside the eternal city of Nakron, and it said he stood before the Prince of Death, not far beyond that spot. Thank you, my friend. Oh, hold on. Now that we're here... Okay, so... I've got two of... I want one of each. Uh, good night, Avery. Alright, the Lich Dragon gives you what? Fortisax's Lightning Spear? Yeah, not worth a damn. And Death Lightning, also not worth a damn. So that one I'm going to consume. The Remembrance of the Regal Ancestor. Okay, hold on a minute. Let's, let's read these because I haven't read them. Remembrance of Lich Dragon Fortisax, hewn into the Erd Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Reader. Alternatively, it can be... Yeah, okay. After Godwin the Golden became the Prince of Death, the ancient dragon fought long and hard against the Death within its companion. Alas, victory was never achieved, and its only reward was corruption. And see, that's... So that's a very weird... statement. Because if his reward was corruption, then why was his primary offensive weapon lightning? Why was he no different than the two dragons in Faru Missoula? The one that you get as you're warning through, and then, of course, uh, Lucidus X. I don't understand why lightning is so... Well, not only that, but even the ancient dragon in Altus Plateau is also lightning-bearing. So, why is lightning so important to these dragons? Or was it just a design decision that was easy to, to duplicate? Okay. Remembrance of the regal ancestor spirit hewn into the Ur tree. Ancestral spirits exist as a phenomenon beyond the purview of the Ur tree. Life sprouts from death as it does from birth. Such is the way of the living. So, we've got the winged great horn. And the ancestral spirit's horn, which restores FP upon defeating enemies. Which is a talisman. Yeah, see, I may want to actually duplicate that one. Of the thing. Okay. Alright, so that's good. We've met Roger. Six and seven. Alright, I need seven. Greetings. Are you here for spirit? You know what? I actually think I might hold on because if I can just get three more points of intelligence, I will naturally be at 60, which means that I can start carrying the carrying scepter as my primary rather than lose that and therefore reduce the amount of FP that I need to use while still getting a fairly high level of sorcery intel. So therefore I want to keep seven. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. Alright. Well, this is where I'm going to call it for the night. 
I will stop here. Level 86. Uh, we have cleared the Deep Root Deaths. We've cleared Thea and her storyline. We are now going to finish up uh, on Wednesday. We will finish up Ronnie's storyline. Uh, get the Dark Moon Greatsword. And then we're going to... There's all... I mean, we got to head back into Lindell. We've got to go after Mogwin. Uh, continue stuff with Brother Corrin and Gold Mask. Um... And we're going to kill both Godfrey and, and Morgoth. So there's going to be a lot going on on Wednesday. As of right now, we are at 180 out of 273. So we're about two-thirds. Maybe a little less than two-thirds. Plus, painting-wise, we are 10 out of 14. And we should be able to clear the 12 uh, in Lendell once we start clearing the next section. And legendaries, we are currently 14 out of 32. A lot of this is because many, many, many of the legendaries don't show up until later in the game. And there's just nothing we can do about that. So, that's where we are. We'll pick back up from here on Wednesday. I hope that everyone has a great rest of your evening, a good continuation of your week, and hopefully I will see you on Wednesday. Good night, and have fun, everybody.